one last question, and then I want to pray for you and your work uh, with um, uh, the Office of uh, Diversity. Yeah. Um, uh, what resources, um, what uh, books, uh, what would you encourage um, white Christians to engage with uh, today thinking about this? Yeah, I, I would really encourage uh, to begin with, you know, how about a good church history book by Mark Knowles? Oh. The History of the United States and Canada. Okay. Uh, which is a, uh, I think it just got renewed for second second edition. Okay. And and it's really, uh, and that he has a more inclusive kind of history of how how did the church evolved over, over the, and, and, and I really love how, how uh, his writing style is just really good. He was a retired church history professor yeah, at the University of Notre Dame. Yeah, he's really easy to read. Yeah, I mean, real easy to read. Uh, probably another one I would probably say is The Color of Compromise Jamar by Jamar Tisby. Yep, that's good. Uh, just just really, really good. And 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 he has a really uh, companion video series. Oh, I didn't know that. That, can, that. Yeah, that can go along with that. So that would be a great uh, adult uh, education is to, is to just walk walk through that and then be able to where be able to view it. Now, where does the Christian Reformed Church fit in that complicity? Where do they fit? Where how, do we know more about our history than we know now? That will help to inform us uh, uh, to, to yeah. be you know to be better to be better at that. And and I say that th- I would say the third thing is to Read the Book of Acts. Hmm. Okay. The Book of Acts is your most mind-blowing book about, whoo, just read it. But it becomes the centerpiece between Jesus' death and Christian expansion in the world without colonizing people. Hmm. It, it helps to give us a different lens without seeking and power. using power yeah. as the way in which we yep. uh, uh, proselytize yep. people of color. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Um, Constantine really kind of threw a wrench in everything. It, it, you know, it, it, I think it's, this, it's the same. We, I think that we should actually take it, internalize Jesus' temptations in our lives because it is talking about how we deal with power and how, and, and giving us at, actually an antidote that leads right to Paul's Philippians 2 1 through 11. Yep. If, if we keep grasping for power, We'll never, it'll never be secure enough. And I, and I think that's why our, our, our go-to emotion is fear. That's our go-to emotion. And, and, and when fear doesn't work, then it's anger. Just get pissed at people. It feels it, good. If, if, if it's really good. <laughs> but you can't live there <laughs> forever. And, and so how, how, how how do we talk about how those two emotions operated and how we theologize and how we socialize? Yeah. Because the uh, the antidote of that is humility and community sharing. And I, and I wonder if 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 we were to practice those kinds those kinds of virtues. I think we would turn our church around and it would be so contagious. People would gravitate towards it. That's exciting. Yeah. But but we but we got we, we gotta move out of, we gotta move out of the pit of fear and anger and understand that there's a better way. There is a better way. It it's it, it was never meant to be safety mm-hmm. at all costs. Thank you. That, because at the end of the day, people still need Jesus. Yep. Uh, it's just not going to be the same 
brand. Yep. Yep. In the end, Jesus is. Yep. Oh, I'm getting a message that my internet's going out. Ah. Okay. I. I yeah. I've, I've, I've been picking that up. <laughs> yep. Just in the last like minute or so. Um. Well, uh, let me close a prayer, and then if it drops, it drops. So. All right. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Father in heaven, thank you for this conversation we can have with Reggie. Uh, we thank you for the gift he is to our denomination. Uh, the the thoughtfulness he is able to provide um, and leadership he's able to give us as we uh, uh, in these days nationally um, as we uh, as a church have to uh, start to struggle with um, our history um, our history and our theology and how we uh, uh, need to uh, be a people um, a community um, of, of every tongue uh, nation um, ethnicity uh, race. Uh, and, and by doing so, Lord, we uh, reflect um, your image all the much better. Yes. And so we pray and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.